What's up guys, it's your boys of Wokey back with another Nukes Top 5 video, but this one we're going into the past for a video that I've never seen. I was like, you know what, it's been a while since we watched the Nuke Top 5. Nuke's probably busy doing his thing, of course, probably making videos for us. So if another Nuke's Top 5 does drop, we'll be definitely reacting to that one. But I wanted some Nuke's Top 5 for this evening, so we are going into the past and watching Ghost Captured on Camera. These are the top 5 best ghost pictures ever this is before video editing picture editing photoshop even existed so there is no way possible that these could have been altered but you guys are going to be the judge but with that being said grab a chair guys some popcorn as we take a look at nukes top five past video of the top five best ghost photos ever let's take a look If you guys are new to my channel, if you guys are returning and have not subscribed yet, make sure you guys subscribe down below by hitting that red bar icon down at the bottom right. Smack that bell icon next to it so when I do post videos like this one, you're going to get that little ring notification that's Wokey myself has posted that video. And then you guys can watch, comment, like, and share. And again, I thank you guys all so very much for the love and the support that you guys are continuously doing. Keep doing what you guys are doing. Tell your friends and your family about Channels Wokey and we'll grow even bigger in 2022. But we are here for new. And with that being said for Nuke, make sure you guys check out the link in the description. Make sure you guys click that link, go over to Nuke's Top 5, and give him some love. Do the thing. Subscribe, comment, like, and share for putting all these videos for us together to enjoy, get scared, fill our pants, and tremble in fear. And without further ado, let's get into this one to see the top 5 best ghost photos ever. Plus, also comment down below if you guys think these have somehow been altered or real or fake. But apparently... The, the caption reads, there is no way for these to be fake. So, let's take a look. Ah, oh, the satisfying sounds of Nuke's intro. In this countdown, I'll attempt to showcase what many believe to be true photographic evidence of the existence of ghosts. Ooh. Most of the ghost photos in this list were taken before the age of digital cameras and Photoshop. They were shot on actual film stock and examined by experienced photographic experts. The photos were all found to be authentic, not manipulated in So there is no way. In the end, of course, the decision is up to you. Are these images real ghosts oh. caught on camera? Or just simple photo fakes? You guys be the judge. It's the top five supposedly real ghosts caught on camera. Let's do it. The ooh, Spectre ooh. of Newby Church. This next ghost photo is one of the wow. most famous of all time. Beautiful the church. The photo was taken in 1963 in Newby Church in North Yorkshire in England. Okay. The specter of the strange hooded oh. mother with a distorted face seems so clear that it has led many to question the authenticity of the photo. However, in the late 1970s, the film was examined by a team of experts working for the BBC. The group examined both the photo and the negative and found no evidence of tampering. Even stranger, <coughs> during the examination, they surmised that judging by the angle and surroundings in the photo, the scary hooded entity would have been over eight feet tall. It's like a grim reaper with a face. Now, the second reason that this photo has more credibility than the average random ghost photo is that it was taken in 1963 by the actual vicar of the Newby Church, Reverend Kenneth F. Lord. The Reverend says that he was attempting to take a picture of the church altar and the bizarre figure just appeared in the photo when it was oh, developed. Oh, hell no. By going public with his ghostly photograph, the Reverend had nothing to gain and could have easily lost the respect of his church congregation and brought shame to the church itself. So, would a man of the cloth make a ghost caught on camera photo when he had nothing to gain and everything to lose? Yeah. Let me know what you think down in the comments. That's so creepy, dude. The White Lady of Worsted. I don't know. In 1975, Peter oh, and Diane Berthelot visited the Worstead Church in North Norfolk in the UK. You used to walk took a the seat walk. amongst the empty pews to say a short prayer. Pew, pew, pew. Her husband <laughs> Peter snapped a candid photo of her as she sat and prayed. Okay. Later, when the film was developed, the couple was shocked to see the ghostly apparition of what appears to be a woman sitting behind Diane, dressed all in white, wearing a bonnet and old-fashioned clothing. Peter and Diane Berthelot swear that there was no one else present around Diane when the picture was taken. It looks like she's sitting there. later showed this photo to Reverend Petit, the church vicar, and inquired about the strange specter in the photo. 
They were shocked when the Reverend told them about the White Lady, a ghost that is said to have haunted the Worstead Church for more than 150 years. In a local story dating back to the 1830s, it is said that a man laughingly dismissed the legend of the White Lady Ghost, boasting that he would climb to the top of the church bell tower at midnight, and if the White Lady was there, he would give her a big kiss on the lips. Bet she kissed you off that window. As the story window. goes, the man followed through with his ill-advised boast. He did indeed climb the ladder to the Worstead Church bell tower at midnight. And died. Time passed, but the man never returned. Finally, the man's friends ascended the bell tower stairs to check on him. What they found shocked them to the core. The man was cowering in the corner of the bell tower, shivering violently and barely able to speak. You darn gone pissed her off! Quivering lips, he said simply, I saw her. Oh! I saw the white lady. And then without another word, he closed his eyes and passed away. What? Why? Oh, hell no. The farm I got boy chills. ghost of Hertfordshire, England. Oh. Neil Sandback was photographing some scenic farmhouse shots to be used as Ugh. the backdrop for a couple's wedding stationery. The couple were planning to have their wedding at the quaint out of the way farm uh, the next how week. Beautiful. Later, when Neil examined the series of photos that he had taken, he was shocked to see that one of the images seemed to contain the bright glowing figure of a young boy who seemed to be staring back at Neil from around the corner of one of the buildings. Oh, what the fuck? Neil says that he's sure that there was no one else present at the farm when the photos were taken. It looks like it's grinning. Now, Neil was not sure exactly what had <laughs> appeared in his photo. So before the wedding, Neil asked the staff of the farm if they had ever had any creepy or unexplained experiences while working there. Even though the farm staff had not seen Neil's spooky photo, in fact didn't even know the picture existed, they all said that on many occasions they had each seen the figure of a young boy oh, dressed hell. in old fashioned white sleeping clothes and lurking around the barn. That looks like old fashioned sleeping clothes! This is believed to be the spirit that Neil Sandback photographed. Mm -hmm. But what do you think? It is looks it a real ghost pretty good camera, to me! Or just some careful photo manipulation by an experienced photographer? How? The Chico Ghost Truck. Roy, a California policeman, found an old abandoned truck on Honey Run Road in Chico, California. He took pictures of the truck for the purpose of logging the vehicle into police records so that it could be towed away. Huh. Later, when Roy checked his photos, he was shocked to see the clear image of a oh. face staring back at him from the passenger seat of the truck. Roy swears that there was no one around when he took his pictures and the man's likeness did not appear in any of his other I photos. I thought it was the back window to the truck. Most disturbing is the strange, piercing look that the man appears to be giving Roy as the picture is taken. So it looks like. But what do you think? Is this a real ghost caught on camera? Or oh, just a bizarre I... reflection from the midday sun? If it is, that's a perfect. It's the Pink Lady of O'Hare. Oh my gosh. Armed with video and film cameras, a man named Guy Winters and a friend set out to explore the supposedly haunted O'Hare house in Greencastle, Indiana. The two men spent two days exploring and filming the house. Several minor oddities and paranormal occurrences were experienced. But by far Pigeon? the most striking supernatural evidence retrieved were these photos snapped by Guy Winters of the outside of the O'Hare house. Okay. This first photo is the blurry picture of what appears to be a woman standing in the front doorway, staring out at the photographer. The second picture, another blurry manifestation looking out a downstairs window. I kinda see it. But what truly baffled paranormal researchers <laughs> is this series of photos taken of an upstairs bedroom. Why is it, it shows pink? three photos of what has come to be called the Pink Lady of O'Hare House. Oh, weird. Guy Winters did not see this apparition at the time. Look at the top only right. found it later after the photos were developed. What the frack? A professional analysis of the film proved that the images are indeed on the film negative. But perhaps even more chilling is what happened when the picture was run through a computer enhancement to try to uncover greater detail oh! in the photo. You can see the face. When enhanced, the photo looks like a skull encased in the ghastly apparition of a human body. What the frick? Unfortunately, no further investigation into O'Hare House was ever able to be conducted. Somebody needs to go! Once Guy Winter's footage became public, the house's owner, fearing intense interest by other paranormal researchers it? and local teenagers, 
had the house demolished. There is now only a cornfield where the house once stood. Go to the cornfield! I guarantee that spirit's still there! These photos taken by Guy Winters during his investigation may be the last shots ever taken of O'Hare House. What the f***? Son of a bitch! Is a real get. ghost caught on camera? Or just a careful fake? If that's a careful Inside. fake, there's no way if it... No. So that's it. The Holy five scary hell. and possibly real ghost pictures ever taken. These are good. Are they real? Or are they fake? In the end, that's for you, the viewer, to decide. I don't know. I'm I'm actually chilled to the core right now. Some of those pictures are like, how the how the frick can you get that? I don't know. If you guys do a lot with photo manipulation and sort of like that, let me know. I've done my fair share in my graphic design photography classes and sort of like that. Some of these, there's no way you could fo Photoshop any of this. Plus, from the '60s. No, sorry, not happening. So with that being said, if you guys are pretty good at photo manipulation or anything like that, let me know down in the comments what you guys think of these pictures of captured ghosts. I would surely love to hear you guys' theories, your opinions. I definitely enjoyed this one. Going back in time on Nuke's video. This one was back in 2018. So almost five years ago, or well, four years ago right now. But I definitely like this. I'm going to see if there's any ones that I've, I have missed of other Nuke Top 5, and I'll definitely view those. And of course, we're going to be watching Nuke's Top 5 newest videos. When they do pop, I just, I had a, I had an urge. Just when you want an urge to watch something, I had an urge to watch Nuke's Top 5. So that's why we did this older one, and I'm glad we did, because the pictures definitely were creepy, scary, and holy crap kind of thing. So again, comment down below, like the video, because it definitely helps out the analytics, gets my views out there, or gets my videos out there to more viewers like you guys, and of course, subscribe and turn notifications on. We'll see you guys in the next video. Keep it real, keep it safe, and as always, keep nerding on. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.